Welcome to The New Inventors. I'm James O'Loughlin. Tonight, we'll see an invention that could prevent your house from being burnt in a bushfire, another that, if you're a cafe owner, could save you from breaking your back, and a third that could allow you to go to the beach and do the vacuuming at the very same time. On our panel tonight is a man who's not only an engineer, but also an engineering activist. Yes, that's him marching down the street shouting, what do we want? Engineers, when do we want them now? <laughs> He's also one of the few people in the world who can say they've helped build a working satellite. James Bradfield Moody. Thanks, James. James. Also science broadcaster and commentator, Bernie Hobbs. And the heterosexual George Michael of the design world. <laughs> I only mean that in the sense that he's got the same permanent three-day growth thing happening, but on him it looks cool. Design critic and creative director, Ewan McEwen. Thank you. No, he loved that intro. I know he did. The idea of clambering around your roof in high winds while the roof gets wetter and slipperier doesn't sound like a particularly good one, does it? But if a bushfire's coming your way, it could be necessary. You need to water your roof to try and stop the house catching fire. But there could be a way to do it that's a whole lot safer and easier. I'm Gordon McEwan, and if you're worried about bushfires, my sprinkler invention is the answer. My device is really easy to install, probably take about five minutes to run the hose up, sit them on the roof tiles and click the hoses. And then all you do is just turn the tap on. That's that simple. A lot of homes are destroyed by bushfire by burning embers which land on roofs and get into the gutters. It's not safe to get on your roof and hose it down when it's wet. When bushfire season's over, you can use it as a conventional sprinkler. This device won't save every home, but it gives you that peace of mind that you've done something. You've turned the sprinklers on and you're wetting your roof. Please welcome Gordon McEwen. Hello, Gordon. Thank Have you. a seat. Um, this is it, obviously. Tell us how it all connects up. OK. The idea is to have one or more sprinklers mounted on your roof at the beginning of summer. Yep. Attached us with garden hose, you have another hose down to the nearest tap. In the event of a fire, simply connect the hose, turn it on, and you're wetting your roof all over. That then gives you time to be able to go out and do other things, like get clothes, photos, whatever. If you have to evacuate, you can leave it on. If you're not home, your neighbours can come across, connect it up. Um, and all so they have to do is go click, turn on the tap. That's it, simple as that. Yeah, OK. James, what do you think? Look, Gordon, um, you know, watering roofs is a really good, no well-known defence against bushfires. And, and you might need maybe three or four of them mm -hmm. on a house? At the most, yes. Yeah. Can you, can you guarantee that you're going to get the water pressure you need? No. You can never guarantee, but when a fire is coming, you don't wait until the fire's on your door. When you've got smoke coming over your house, that's when you turn your sprinklers on and saturate everything before the fire front arrives. Mm. Bernie? Um, I just wanted to know if it's going to um, hold up under, under flames. I mean, it's PVC. How's it going to go in the fire? Well, like I say, the idea is to saturate your roof and the around, surrounding areas before then, because if it's that hot that's going to melt the hose, there's no firemen around or anyone at there's... that stage, unfortunately. Yeah. And does it come with the sprinkler or do you have to be oh, yes. your own? Oh, yes. That's the butterfly sprinkler, so it comes with that. Okay. You? Um, I, I, I like it. It's a, it's a great idea. The, um, a few questions. Um, the PVC. Why have you chosen PVC? Because I know that uh, that's a plastic that is trying to be phased out. Because if, uh, if I'm made out of brass, you're still going to connect it with garden hose. But could so, you make it out of a recycled plastic? Yes, we can do that. So at this stage, um, we haven't gone that far, but yes, we can make it out of recycle. But okay. the idea is cost effective. And, and with, the, with the source of the water, um, have you had any thoughts of like a da adding this into a, a package for fire prevention, like a, a tank with a pump or anything like that? No, we haven't gone that far, but yes, you can. People that are on tank water, 
the water hits the roof, back in the gutters, back in the tank, and they can just keep recycling it. Building on that idea, I mean, have you talked to insurance companies? Could they reduce premiums mm. if you have one of these? Yeah, unfortunately we haven't gone that far yet, but mm. yeah. We, yeah. And can I just ask one last thing? If it's already common to just put your sprinkler on the roof, what does your invention add to that? What, what benefit well, is it giving? To put a standard sprinkler on the roof, it's fixed and it'll just rock and fall off. Mm -hmm. So you've then got to mount it to something heavy to hold it there. This will fit in any position on the sides and you can adjust the sprinkler. Because the apex of a roof is where you're going to get the most wind. That's you know, right. will this actually stay there? Will it blow well, off? Well, yes, it will have metal weights in it for weight. Mm -hmm. Also, it'll have magnets in it for metal roofs, so it'll be magnetised. Isn't it better to have a, a system when you build a new house? I mean, uh, to, to integrate a system into building the house so that it comes oh, yeah, standard yeah. in all new houses. Well, you can do that, but costs like that, you need a plumber, and the average cost is around eight thousand dollars for pumps, tanks. All but, but you're still at the initial stage. But sometime down the track, you might form some connections with building companies. That's so when right. you're building a house, offer you this as yeah. some a part of it That's as right. you build it. Yeah, and if exactly. you're building a house in a bushfire, a region that is potentially uh, might be affected by bushfires, yeah. you say, well, yeah, I'll p pay an extra hundred bucks and get one of them in. Yeah, and have you in. protected your idea? Is it patented? Yes, we have, yeah. Can you just swing it up there or have you oh, actually no. got to be able to climb up? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're in a hurry, the bushfire... It depends, well, it depends if your name's the Lone Ranger. <laughs> um, summing up, James. Uh, look, I'm actually quite surprised that no one's thought of it before. It's a, Which is a backhanded way of saying you're brilliant. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like the idea. I think there's definitely an application for it and it's good design. Um, Betty? I think it's beautiful, it's simple, it solves a problem and um, if you do need to make any changes it's still early enough in the process and it's going to be nice and cheap for people so yeah. that's great. Ewan? Yeah, I agree. I think it's. I think it's great. I'd, I'd like to see it um, maybe expanded a little bit as a concept to work with other other fire control methods for a, for a, a package. Yeah. That all may happen, Gordon. Uh, thank you very much. Please thank Gordon McKeown. Well done, mate.